Good evening and welcome to another edition of the Legacy of Queens. It's Sunday, November 20th, 2022, and it's a couple of days before Thanksgiving. We're celebrating Thanksgiving week with our family and our friends, but we have time for our 60th episode, which is tonight. And tonight we're tributing a very special gentleman who has really gave us some great programs to really laugh at. But he also directed some great movies, and he's been around, oh, for the past uh, 81 of his years. But he did leave us in July of 2016. He is an American filmmaker and actor, and he started his career in the 60s writing for The Lucy Show and The Dick Van Dyke Show before he developed Neil Simon's 1965 play The Odd Couple for television in 1970. Then he gained fame for creating Happy Days, Laverne and Shirley, Mark and Mindy, and he's also known for directing The Flamingo Kid, Overboard, Beaches, Pretty Woman, Runaway Bride, and the films The Princess Diaries and The Princess Diaries 2. He also directed the romantic comedy ensemble films Valentine's Day, New Year's Eve, and Mother's Day. All from this multi-talented gentleman, Born on November 13th, 1934, passed away on July 19th, 2016. The native from the Bronx we're looking at tonight, Gary K. Marshall, right here on The Legacy of Queens. Welcome to the show. I'm Jason Ducanio, your host, and I hope you are having a fantastic weekend before Thanksgiving as we are now delving, coming close, coming to the end of uh, November, and we're looking at some great people in this third season of our show. This is episode 60 on Sunday night, November 20th, 2022. Gary Kent Marshall was born in the Bronx, New York City, on November 13th, 1934, the only son and eldest child of Anthony Tony Massarelli, later Anthony Wallace Marshall, a director of industrial films and producer, and Marjorie Irene, the owner and teacher in a tap dance school. He was the brother of actress-director Penny Marshall and Ronnie Marshall Hallen, a television producer. His father was of Italian descent, his family having come from San Martino, Sola Marocina, Chete, and Abruzzo, and his mother was of German, English, and Scottish ancestry. His father changed his last name from Massarelli to Marshall before his son Gary was born. So Gary Marshall was baptized Presbyterian and also raised a Lutheran for a time. He attended DeWitt Clinton High School and Northwestern University, where he wrote a sports column for the Daily Northwestern and was a member of the Alpha Tai Omega fraternity. Beginning in 1956, Marshall served a stint in the U.S. Army as a writer for Stars and Stripes and Soul News and was production chief for the Armed Forces Radio Network serving in Korea. Well, he began his career as a joke writer for such comedians as Joey Bishop and Phil Foster and became a writer for The Tonight Show with Jack Parr. He originally partnered with writer Fred Freeman. In 1961, Gary and Freeman moved to Hollywood where they broke into writing sitcoms on The Joey Bishop Show. Freeman, however, found that he didn't enjoy sitcom work and moved back to New York. Marshall soon teamed up with new writing partner Jerry Belson, and the two worked as a team through the 60s. Their pair, the pair worked on The Dick Van Dyke Show, The Joey Bishop Show, The Danny Thomas Show, and The Lucy Show. 
Their first television series as co-producers was Hey Landlord, which lasted one season from 66 to 67. Then they adapted Neil Simon's play The Odd Couple for television. Moving into the 1970s, Marshall worked on his own or with others and created Happy Days, Laverne and Shirley starring his sister Penny, who had earlier had a recurring role on The Odd Couple, and Mark and Mindy, which were produced by his associates Thomas L. Miller, Robert L. Boyette, and Edward K. Milkus. He was a co-creator of Making It, which then the three men also produced. In the early 1980s, he met Hector Elzondo, who, while playing basketball, and they became great friends. Elzondo appeared in every film that Marshall directed, beginning with his first feature film, Young Doctors in Love. Elzondo once noted that he is written into all of Marshall's contracts whether he wanted to do the film or not. In the opening credits of Exit to Eden, their eighth film together, Elzondo is credited, as usual, Hector Elzondo. And then in 1984, Marshall had a film hit as the writer and director of The Flamingo Kid. Of all Marshall's films, Elzondo had the biggest role in The Flamingo Kid as the main character, Matt Dillon's father. Marshall wore many hats during this period of his career. Most of his hit television series were created and executive produced by him. His first producing assignment came with Hay Landward in 1966. He stepped up the very next year producing The Lucy Show, and then came successes in producing The Odd Couple, Laverne and Shirley, Blansky's Beauties, Mork and Mindy, Angie, and of course, Happy Days. He launched independent productions through his theater, The Falcon in Toluca Lake, and in association with productions launched with talent he was grooming and working with for years. One such project, titled Four Stars, was directed by Linda Goodfriend, who portrayed Lori Beth in Happy Days, and was based on a play Goodfriend had read when she was studying at the Lee Strasberg Center, which had been written by John Schult and Kevin Mahoney. It starred Julie Paris, the daughter of Jerry Paris, and Burt Kramer. Schult later co-wrote with TV veteran and producer Fred Fox Jr., who penned and produced a number of Marshall's television series, including Happy Days and Laverne and Shirley. Marshall went on to focus on directing feature films with a series of hits such as Beaches, Pretty Woman, The Princess Diaries, Valentine's Day, and New Year's Eve. Gary was also an actor, appearing in Murphy Brown and in such films as Soap Dish, On the Lot, his sisters, A League of Their Own, and Albert Brooks's Lost in America, and provided a guest starring voice for The Simpsons episodes 8, Misbehaven, and Homer the Father, which was one of his first roles as an undercover cop in the counterculture drama Psych Out, starring Jack Nicholson. He also appeared in two episodes of Happy Days as a drummer, he was also a drummer in the second last scene of The Princess Diaries 2, called The Royal Engagement, and he plays a drummer in his film Overboard. His theater credits included Wrong Turn at Lungfish, which he wrote in collaboration with Lowell Gans, The Roast with Jerry Belson, Shelved and Happy Days, a new musical with Paul Williams, which had its premiere at the Falcon Theater in Burbank, California on February 24th of 2006. He portrayed the role of director on Burbank's Lights, Camera Action, The Float in the 2014 Rose Parade, and then in 2014, Marshall appeared in, in a guest star role in a February episode in season 11 of Two and a Half Men. In 1997, he co-authored the memoir, Wake Me When It's Funny, with his daughter, Lori Marshall. Well, Marshall married Barbara Sue Wells on March 9, 1963. They had three children, including Scott Marshall. His daughters are Lori, who he co-wrote with a book with, and Kathleen, who appeared in all his films. And sadly, on the morning of July 19, 2016, Marshall, aged 81, died at a hospital in Burbank, California, due to complications of pneumonia after suffering a stroke. 
The Odd Couple 2015 series paid tribute to Marshall on Season 3, Episode 4, called Taffy Days. It aired on November 7, 2016, by bringing together several cast members from previous roles he played in. Henry Winkler paid tribute to Marshall on Barry in 2019, and SAG-AFTRA made a memorum, memoriam tribute to Marshall on the SAG Awards in 2019. Also, Julia Roberts paid tribute to Marshall in Pretty Woman, the musical, in 2018. ABC aired the special The Happy Days of Gary Marshall on May 12th, 2020. And then, of course, the wonderful list of television and films he's done in the Chronicle order. Great stuff. Then in 1996, Marshall was awarded the Women in Film Lucy Award in recognition of excellence and innovation and creative works that have enhanced the perception of women through the medium of television. He was inducted into the Television Hall of Fame for his contributions to the field of television in 1997. And in 2012, he was inducted into the National Association of Broadcasters Broadcasting Hall of Fame. Marshall received the Valentine Davies Award and Laurel Award for TV Writing Achievement and... They were all given from the Writers Guild of America. And there you have it, folks. The life and times of the late Gary Marshall. And we miss him dearly. He was funny, witted, a great guy. And we miss him dearly. But we will never forget the great shows he produced and directed and wrote for from his early times to the last of his life. We thank you, Gary Kent Marshall, for all you've done. Next week on Thanksgiving weekend, we're going to be looking at the next person in our list on episode 61. And that is the guy who went on to play in Gary Marshall's TV show, Happy Days, Henry Winkler. That's right. The man who was born in... Nazi Germany. He actually was living in Berlin at the time, but they came to the west side of New York City's Manhattan borough for all of its time. Born in 1945, he is still alive today at the age of 77. And we will tribute the Fonz. Happy days, Henry Winkler, next week on Thanksgiving weekend of the legacy of Queens. Before we go, I want to thank everybody for their continued support of the Legacy of New York YouTube channel. We are doing fantastic with that channel on YouTube. We hope that you, ha if you haven't subscribed to it, we hope you do subscribe to it. Do listen to us continuously on Anchor and Spotify. We're not going anywhere with that, as well as the Queens New Yorker will be back and continuing its radio station series. We're doing fantastic. We want to let you know that on the YouTube channel, the last second to third episodes that we posted on there, all from season two, including Isabel Sanford and Mary Tyler Moore, have enjoyed triple-digit views. Mary Tyler Moore is the most popular video Right now, episode-wise, episode number 42, with 217 total views and counting. And for all of our returning subscribers, that video is the first thing you see when you come back to our channel. For all of our new subscribers, we've put up there. Um, we still have Gene Stapleton's video at 140 plus, and that video is doing, that episode is doing fantastic as well. We're happy that we are continuing to have three great seasons on Anchor and Spotify, and we hope that you will continue to support us and do your job and your part to keep the legacy of Queens and the legacy of New York doing their thing by becoming very, very popular on this medium we call Internet Radio. I'm Jason Acanio, thanking you again. Have yourself a safe Thanksgiving day, and remember... Don't eat too much pumpkin pie now. <laughs> but always to be honest, be real, and 
Keep it simple, stupid kiss. We'll see you next week on the Legacy of Queens. Have a great night. Bye-bye.